Hi there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you're welcome to click the subscribe. You're welcome to click the like. You're welcome to share. You can do whatever you like, really, providing you're respectful to my subscribers, my existing subscribers, and you, you know, you make some decent comments. Um, yeah, today I wanted to talk about um, these. Do you know those red? Well, this is for UK people, UK residents. But you know the double red lines? Now, in some countries you have double yellow lines and in the UK you have double yellow lines. But in certain cases you have double red lines, which mean under no circumstances can you stop for any reason whatsoever. Anyway, what the, what the local borough has done in on this particular residential road is to put red double red lines across the whole street and so even where the driveways are there's double red lines now this lady she was trying to reverse into her driveway didn't she get a ticket for 70 quid because a camera caught her and they said she violated um, violated the law. I mean, surely they should break those red lines where there's a dip in the driveway. So if there's a driveway there, how can they put double red light and then you get fined for it? I mean, she is appealing, but they're saying they have every right to do that. So if you buying, if you're looking at properties, I mean, to be honest, she didn't, when she bought the property, those double red lines weren't there. And it's to do with congestion. It's to do with the congestion zone. So they've only been painted on recently. But if I were you, somebody's selling a house and it's got double red lines outside it, I wouldn't be interested in that house at all. In purchasing it, in renting it or doing anything with it if I've got a car. Because you can get slapped with a fine time and time again. And it's just not worth it. Anyway, let me just read it and I'll put the link in. Mum is furious being slapped with a £70 fine for reversing into her own driveway. Stephanie, 51, from Reading, Berkshire, believes the new double red lines outside her home are a council money-making exercise after the £70 fine came through her door. Branding the penalty ridiculous, Stephanie, who did not give her last name, was spotted on a double red line as she waited to reverse safely into her drive. So obviously she's on this main, main road. She's going to have to wait till all the cars clear before she can reverse in. And that's what's happened. The cameras caught her. She would have been better off just driving in, but even, yeah, she should have driven in as opposed to reversing in, because at least when you're driving in, you've got the right of way, haven't you? You can just go right, just do your right and just go straight in. You're not stopping. But if you're reversing and waiting, anyway, the 50-year-old, one-year-old from Reading, Berkshire, got the fine in the post for waiting in a no-stopping zone, which was recently painted <coughs> along a bus route to help with congestion. Since November last year, anyone caught parking on the Red Route in West Reading could receive the fine, which will be halved if paid within a fortnight. There are, however, several exceptions to the new ruling with buses, postal services, refuse vehicles and emergency services, all among those allowed to park on the double red line. Um, there is a photo of a black Vauxhall park parallel on the red line and partly on the curb with reverse lights on which were included along with the fine so they could see that she was reversing because her lights were on but it didn't make a difference because you're not supposed to stop at all it means that you cannot reverse into your own driveway which is much a safer op option than reversing into a busy road to me it's just common sense to reverse in I've been fined for trying to do the right thing. Well, is it common sense to reverse in when to do so means you've got to stop on the 
double red line. I don't think it's common sense. I think it's common sense to drive in front ways and then reverse outwards when you see the road is clear. To me, that's common sense. It might be more convenient for her to reverse in because it makes it easier for her coming out. But if it means that she has to wait on that double red line, it's no point, is it? Stephanie now wants to warn other motorists that they face similar fines for trying to manoeuvre safely. A number of other people in my street reverse into their drives, so I just wanted to warn them that they might be fined for doing that, she continued. I just think this red route thing is a money-making exercise. The Reading Borough Council spokesman said, a red route is a no-stopping restriction introduced to keep key public transport routes clear to prevent delays for bus passengers and to remove obstacles and hazards for cyclists and pedestrians. Any driver issued with a penalty charge notice, PCN, who does not believe they should have received the fine can challenge it by following the procedure, Dale detailed on the PCN, explained on the council website. So what do you think? Do you think she was silly to reverse into a driveway when it meant stopping on the double red line? Or do you think she should have driven in front ways and just made, you know, avoided it altogether? Your comments would be appreciated and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.